In the next two videos, in this lesson, you will learn different strategies for how you can find your optimal pitch range. Technology or apps are not necessary to learn this. I find my clients are more successful when they do this independently and from their own body. I want to show you a quick approach for finding your natural voice. What you will do here is you will put your tongue tip on the roof of your mouth and simply make a sound. That sound will be your natural voice. When your tongue tip is attached to your palate and to the epiglottis, that sound that you make happens to be the best sound that your voice can produce. Now this isn't going to be pretty and it's only going to be one pitch, but it's going to start to give you a sense of where this ideal voice placement is. So here I go, I'm putting my tongue tip on the roof of my mouth and I'm going to make a sound. Uh, uh, uh. This is my optimal pitch range. This is my natural voice right here. I want you to try it. Uh, uh. And now let's match that sound. Let's go. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Hopefully your numbers are a very close match to that sound you're producing naturally. Now, when I first introduced this to my clients, particularly my female clients, they get a little alarmed. They go, oh my goodness, this voice is so low. And they wonder, is it too low? Does it sound masculine? Does it sound unfriendly? It doesn't. This is the place in your body where you produce the best voice. It is physiology. Now, if you are somebody who has that thin, high voice or some nasal resonance, and then you drop down here to that more natural range, it is going to significantly feel and sound different to you. I don't want you to worry about it. I want you to spend the next week or so doing this sound placement. Uh, uh, this is my ideal voice and start to get used to it. See you in the next video where we get into some specific strategies.